You ever meet somebody and they're so boring you feel like they poisoned you? Like, <laughs> you're talking to them and you're like, I feel like I'm dying right now. And I think you did it. This guy's name is Craig. I met him at the bank. Is he a bank teller? No. Is he a security guard? Nope. What's his job? I don't know, whatever they call that guy that stands in the lobby <laughs> of banks now, where you, like, you walk in and you're like, do you work here? And he's like, I think so. That guy? <laughs> the lobby liaison? Well, I saw him, we made eye contact. I don't know how you work. For me, if we make eye contact during the day, not at night, but during the day, out of human decency, I acknowledge you. So that's what I did. We made eye contact, and I go, how you doing? And he went. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So <laughs> then I get to the second set of doors to walk in. And as I reach for that door, I hear, uh, you going to the bank? <laughs> I go, is this still a bank? He goes, yeah. I go, I'd like to. And he goes, go for it. And I was like, okay, thanks. And then I reach back and he goes, uh, I'm going to Virginia next week. Are you telling me that? He goes, you said, how you doing when you got here? I had to think about it. That's what I'm doing. I go, that's the craziest shit I've ever heard anybody say. And also not how that question works, but all right. <laughs> and now I reach back and he goes, yeah, my sister lives there. And I'm like, <laughs> how long she lived there? <laughs> now I'm roped in. He goes, 15 years. And I go, you've never been? And he goes, mm-mm. <laughs> now I'm starting to look at him like, hey, man, do you drive to work or... Does somebody drop you off? You know what I mean? <laughs> I think he could see it in my face because out of nowhere he goes, I drive. I was like, that's cool, man. That's cool. I drive too. That's crazy. Uh, I got to get in here. He goes, yeah, we're going to check out DC and we're going to see some monuments. I go, I would love to hear about it, but... I have to make a deposit. He goes, well, I'll be here when you walk out. I go, you motherfucker. <laughs> fuck that guy and fuck everybody like him. If you have the audacity to tell people how you're doing when they say, how you doing, that shit is rude and selfish, all right? <laughs> there are two acceptable answers to how you're doing. Fine and great. And if you're miserable, you say, fine. You don't burden people with your real-world problems during a courteous exchange. Yeah. True. You know why? Because nobody wants to hear your problems. Your problems make my soft. And I am trying to stay hard out here. Now...